What did Ancho saw at the end of the movie? There are two possible answers. In this film, I have come to learn that the director loves to drop hints, and his hint has two kinds. The very obvious hint, and the subtle hint. Let's start with the very obvious hint. At the end, we see Namra happy and so cool. She said that they're back and jumps off quickly. The group looks over the horizon and what do they see? Chances are not all the zombies were killed. So Namra's job is to take care of them. Since when did Namra become a custodian? Having to clean up all of the leftover zombies. Poor Namra, she has to work overtime. Okay, so that's the obvious ending. Now let's look at the subtle ending. I'm going to put together all the clues that were given to us. First clue, Namra said that there are others just like her. There are other Hami, which means she had met them. So if that's the case, why is Namra alone? I mean, by now, Namra is an outcast. She can't return to society, so she has to be with a different group of people, Hami, that are just like her. And it would make sense that they have to travel in pack, not alone, which means the group of Hamby that is with her should be nearby, maybe like down below. According to the obvious hint, Namra would be jumping off quickly to go fight the zombie. Or she is jumping off quickly to go meet up with her pack of Hambies. Because the next hint, when she says they're back, she's smiling. I don't think Namra is smiling because a group of zombies is here and she just want to go down there and smack them. Namra is probably smiling because, guess what? She has a surprise for everyone. And that surprise is, guess who? Namra has a new boyfriend. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. The next hint is the look on their face. This isn't the face of shock. Oh, she is. There's a bunch of zombies down below. No, this is more like the face of shock. Oh my goodness. I'm going to cry. I can't believe who or what I'm seeing. Okay, so I'm going to edit the ending just a little bit. Here goes. Look, So among the group of Hamby is Chong San. So is Chong San alive? Probably. Here's two reasons why Chong San is probably alive. Number one, based on my extensive years of experience watching Asian films, characters that die but are not dead on screen are likely not dead. Number two, everyone loves Chong San so much, we all hope that he will be alive for season two. Because if he's not, then no one's going to watch season 2 and the director will have no income. So if he wants to keep his job, he needs to put Chung San in for a season 2. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. Those were just two made up reasons. Okay, now let's get on to the real reason. So, here is three reasons why Chiyun San is probably still alive. Number one, the director's cut. The director is very notorious for giving us a cliffhanger at the end of most episodes when it comes to Chiyun San. Remember in episode 2, at the end we saw him flying out the window and it cuts to a bunch of bodies falling. At that very moment, we all think he would be hurt or dead somehow. But then comes the next episode and voila, we see the full scene and now we learn that he lived. Coincidence? The other scene in episode 4 where Greenham threw a knife at Cheon san and we were totally fooled into thinking he got stabbed in the back. When the next episode, we see the whole thing played out, and I'm pretty sure you and I all had a good laugh. <laughs> that director guy. 
Therefore, it is not surprising that at the end of the explosion, we see Chion Sung dying, but I'm pretty sure when season 2, episode 1 comes out, the director will give us the full scene of what really happened. So that's reason number one why a Chiyong song is still alive, because the director cutting up parts here and there and not giving us the whole shebang of what truly happened. Reason number two, why Chiyong song is probably still alive, it's because he is probably a Hanbi. Now before I explain to you why he is a Hanbi, let me first tell you how anyone turns into a Hanbi in the first place. Did you ever want to become a Hanbi? or half beat, which is basically half human and half zombie? Well, it's not easy. Only a selected few can be chosen from the thousands of zombie. But no worries, I have all the formula for you, which will make it way much easier for you to become a Hanbi. First of all, spoiler alert. Okay, so here we go. A Hanbi is half human, half zombie, like Namra, for example. You are still consciously a human, but you have the strength of a zombie. The only downside is you also have the appetite of a zombie. So there are a lot of theories all over YouTube, of course, but here's my theory. The answer was already given to us at the beginning of the film. It all start with the scientist Beyond Chan. He told us in the beginning that because of his son being bullied by other students, he wanted to make a formula that can make his son strong. So here's the formula. When there's a cat and a mouse in the same box, most of the mice ran away in fear or sat in the corner of the box. However, once in a while, there would be a mouse that is so brave enough to actually fight back. These brave mice have a very special testosterone that the scientists extracted to create the Jonas virus. The virus has the ability to give the host super strength. So note, the virus came from very, very fearless mice. Now let's continue this information with our humans and zombies. Let's start with the four Hambies themselves. So now let's look at the Hamby and see how they are related. The four we know so far is the scientist Bion Chang, Yun Chi, the girl that got bullied, Guinam, the bully, and Namra, the class president. What do these four people have in common? They seem to be very different from one another. Therefore, status and gender doesn't seem to apply. That means it doesn't matter if you're rich or poor, or male or female. The next thing we can ask is their alignment. Guinam is evil while Namra is good. Yunji is lost and Bion Chan just want revenge. So it doesn't look like if the person is good or bad matter. The only thing that these four have in common is that they were zombified just like everyone else. Alright, we have to think way much further than that. Let's compare these four to the rest of the city and the students that were infected. What makes these four so different from everyone else that were infected? The answer is fear. Yes, fear, just like the cat and the mouse. Fear was what the scientist was talking about. For example, when anyone is attacked by a zombie, they see the zombie and what do they do? They run away in fear. They are so afraid, whereas these four Hamby, they are not afraid. So the answer to becoming a Hamby is through fear. Let's go back to what the scientist said about the cat and the mouse one more time. When the cat appeared, all the other mice are afraid and ran away. That's the same thing with the zombies and the students. When they see the zombies, they are so afraid, they try to run away. The students are fearful. In other words, the students become weak. So when the students are infected, the virus checks the host. Oh, this person is weak, has so much fear. So the virus would take over the host in an attempt to look for the next host. Now back to the animals. The scientists said that once in a while there would be a brave mouse that is so fearless that would fight back against the cat even though the odds are against it. So this is one thing that four Hamby have in common. At the moment of death, instead of being fearful like everyone else, at the moment of death they are not afraid. They have no fear. Let's take a look at each of our four Hamby. The very first person is the scientist Bion Chan. At the police station, the zombies attack. See all those people? They're afraid of the zombies. They run away in fear. The only two person that was not afraid was a cop and a scientist. They were fearless. Their body has no fear, but only the scientist was infected. He's so brave, he already lost his son and his wife, and now his job, so he has no reason to live. He can only do one last thing to save the world. He will protect the cop, so the cop can go get the laptop to save the world. In this moment, the scientist Bion Chan is fearless. He is not afraid to die. So when the virus infected him, the virus sees that Bion Chan is a good host. Instead of taking over, the virus turns the scientist into a Hanby. Next we have Yun Chi. Even though she was bully and scared, but the thought of having her picture published online makes her so angry to the point she just want to find and smash the phone. Even though she has to go through all those zombies, she doesn't care about death. She is fearless. 
Her mind is so focused on the phone, she would rather die than have her picture published. And so, she became a happy. Number 3, Greenam. At his moment of death, he has only one thing in mind, Chion Sang left eye. He doesn't care about the zombie biting him. His vein is filled with hatred and anger, but no fear. So the virus selected him as his new host and made him into a happy. I'll kill you. I will kill you. I'll kill you. And finally, we have Namra. She just wants to protect all her new friends, especially Su Yuk. She is willing to risk her life fearless at the moment of infection. And we have another Hamby. So let's review. People became zombie because they exhibit fear. Let's go over people who did not become Hamby. Young Chu, the one bitten by the hamster. She was fearful when she told the teacher she doesn't want to die. Also, her slowly turning to a zombie is because the science teacher kept injecting her with drugs that helped slow down the spread. This lunch lady, she was brave for a minute, but at the very last minute, she became so scared eh, when she was bitten. The coach, he was already running away like a chicken. Lots of fear. Minji was bitten by the coach and was afraid of turning. Isaac was actually... I think almost a hammy. She displayed bravery, which is why it took her quite a while for her to turn. The virus was kind of deciding to turn her or not, but because of Na Young screaming and yelling, Isa gave into the fear and the virus took over. Same thing with Yeon Su. He was about to turn into a hammy. He could have. He is pretty brave, but at the very last moment, his thought of being laughed at made him fearful, so the virus took over. G Min is a super skatey cat, so she quickly turned. Okay, so that's an example of a few regular zombie turning. Let's review. So to become a hammy, the host will have no fear of the zombie or fear of dying. Their mind is set on the ultimate purpose. The virus will see that the host is strong and worthy and will coexist with the host instead of taking over. Now that you understand how anyone can become a hammy, let's find out why Cheong Sung is probably a hammy. As we know, he was infected by Green Up. Let's review the rule to becoming a hammy. One of the biggest hint at being a hamby is being fearless. The director dropped us a hint here when Shio Song said, And finally, the last hint in film that is full of theories, like this one, the director liked to drop two types of hint the super obvious hint and the subtle hint. When Anjo and Namra went back to check, Namra said that she couldn't smell anyone here. The obvious hint would be that means there's no one here alive anymore. The subtle hint would be, what if Chiyo Sang has already left, which is why there is no one here anymore. So reason number two is Chiyo Sang becoming a hammy and had the ability to regenerate or withstand the blast. And finally, reason number three is that Chiyo Sang is at the edge of the blast radius. Notice that the group escaped to the hillside, just a fence away from the school and the construction site. But the group did not suffer any blast at all, which means they just passed the blast radius just by a little bit. And they have just recently left the construction site. They are not that far away from the construction site where Chiyo Sang is. That means the construction site is far enough from the school that is actually on the edge of the blast radius. So it could be safe to say that the fire from the explosion is not that damaging than being closer to the center of the blast. The fire could be just regular fire that a hammy can be hurt but not killed by the fire. So there you have it. That's the three reasons why Chiyo Sang is probably still alive. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think about the theory in the comment section below.